Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jocelyn and for today's topic, I'm going to provide you some great news for those who wanted to migrate in the USA and look for work because Congress is introducing a merit-based immigration system. This bill is going to give equal access for all international immigrant applicants based on merit. This bill is called the Equal Access to Green Cards for Legal Employment Act of 2022 or Eagle Act of 2022. Here are the important features of this bill. This new merit-based U.S. immigration system will eliminate the per-country numerical limitation for employment-based immigrants. In addition, it will also increase the per-country numerical limitation for family-sponsored immigrants. This bill is going to modify the requirements related to employment-based visas and will address related issues. Here is one of the most important features of the bill. The bill increases the per-country cap on family-based immigrant visas from 7% of the total number of such visas available that year to 15% and eliminates the per-country cap for employment-based immigrant visas. Also, the bill establishes transition rules for employment-based visas, such as reserving a percentage of EB2, these are workers with advanced degrees or exceptional ability, and EB3, these are for skilled and other workers, and this means that the percentage will be reserved not from the two countries with the largest number of recipients of such visa. So that means more countries will benefit from EB2 and EB3 visas, not just from the largest recipient of visas. Also, it will allot a number of visas for professional nurses and physical therapists. Also, there are prohibitions on this new merit-based U.S. immigration system. The bill imposes additional requirements on an employer seeking an H-1B visa, such as prohibiting an employer from advertising that a position is only open to H-1B applicants or that H-1B applicants are preferred and certain employers from having more than half of their employees as non-immigrant visa workers. Another important feature of the bill is that the Department of Labor shall create a publicly available website where an employer seeking an H-1B visa must post certain information about the open position. The bill also expands labor's authority to review and investigate H-1B applications for fraud or misrepresentations. The bill also allows certain aliens to obtain lawful permanent resident status if the alien first is in the United States as a non-immigrant, second has an approved immigrant visa petition, and third has waited at least two years for a visa. As a background, this employment-based visa system will provide green cards to workers who can contribute to the U.S. economy and provide U.S. the competitive advantage. The major requirement is that the employer or the U.S. employer must advertise for the position and the employer must be unable to fill the position because there are no available workers. In fiscal year 2021, there were 66,781 employment-based immigrant visas that were not used despite having many qualified applicants for these visas. And this is highlighting the inefficiency of immigrant-based origin employment visas. If you have any other questions or comments, please post them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Again, thank you guys for supporting my channel and if you haven't liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I always welcome new subscribers. Thank you guys for watching. I hope everyone is staying safe and have a great day.